Hello, today I am going to show you the Ibis Budget Hotel at Sydney Domestic Airport. Now this is the third hotel near the airport that we've stayed, I've stayed in in the last 12 months. It's a small room, it's fine for two people. We're going to have a look around and I'm going to show you the room, show you the hotel, some of what it's got to offer uh, and then we're going to go for a bit of a walk around and I'll show you what you can get close by. Why am I staying at the Ibis Budget Hotel? I am finally off overseas. So this is step one. I'm heading to Perth first thing in the morning. I've got to be on a shuttle at five o'clock in the morning to the, back to the airport where I'm flying to Perth and meeting Phil. We are spending a night in Perth. So keep an eye out for another hotel review coming up. And then we are flying to London. Don't miss that video because we're spending 17 and a half hours on a plane, non-stop. And I'm looking forward to taking all of you with us. But for now, let's check out the Ibis Budget Hotel. Full length mirror, better than at home. Tan coffee station and a desk. Hopefully I'll get this video edited up this desk tonight. Double bed. Sockets next to the bed. In this hotel room there are six plug points and two USB sockets. The bathroom. One of the other videos that we've done is the mantra and that's it right there. The great hotel, I'll put a link to that hotel review in the description below and it should appear in the corner above. And through that gap is the centre dine. That's the other hotel that I've got a video for. Those windows at the top are a great dining space, reception and hangout area. Check out the video in the description to find out more. I used the super shuttle to get from the airport to the hotel. It did service a whole lot of hotels, including the Cedar Dine. The Ibis Hotel and the Ambos and private jets and runways right across the road. If you're looking for something sweet, right, and I mean directly next door, is Krispy Kreme. Then next to Krispy Kreme's is McDonald's if you're looking for a cheap, quick, filling but unsatisfying meal, in my humble opinion. Sharing the same car park as McDonald's, KFC, and that's what I'm gonna have for dinner tonight. If anyone's wondering how much KFC costs in Australia, I paid $155 for my night's accommodation here at the Ibis. It does not include internet or breakfast, but they do have a breakfast room and you can pay extra, but I'm leaving at five o'clock in the morning, so I'll just get breakfast at the airport. What do you think of the Ibis? What do you think it's missing? What do you think it needs? If you liked what you saw today, why not hit the like and subscribe button? That subscribe button will let you be a part of our journey as we actually make it overseas. We spend some time in London and we're heading to Ireland. So if you want to know about either of those two destinations, join us for the journey and we would love to hear from you down in the comments below. As always, thanks for joining us. Travel brilliantly. Bye.